The case of Jean Weber. Jean Weber was a French woman who gained notoriety for her murders of several young children, including her own niece and nephew. She was born in 1874 in Le Cruzat, a small town in central France. Her parents were poor, and Weber grew up in difficult circumstances. As a young adult, she became a nurse and worked at various hospitals throughout France. Weber's killing spree began in 1905 when she murdered her sister's two young children. She killed an 18-month-old girl and her two-year-old sister in quick succession, with doctors initially declaring their deaths as accidental. However, suspicions were raised when Weber was found trying to choke her nephew. Despite this, she was acquitted when her defense argued that she was grief-stricken over the death of her own child which she had caused. Weber's next victim was another young girl who she killed in 1907. This time, her actions were caught on camera by a pioneering filmmaker, Louis Lumiere. Lumiere had set up a camera in a public park to record everyday life, but instead captured Weber in the act of killing the girl. The footage was used as evidence against her in court and she was sentenced to life imprisonment in an asylum in 1908. The trial of Jean Weber was a sensation at the time. The public was shocked by the brutality of her crimes and the fact that she had managed to get away with murder for so long. Weber's defense team tried to argue that she was insane, but the prosecution was able to show that she had acted with premeditation and had carefully planned out her crimes. Weber was sent to the St. Anne Asylum in Paris, where she spent the next two years. However, she was not able to cope with her confinement and the guilt of her crimes. In 1910, she hanged herself in her cell, bringing an end to one of the most notorious cases in French criminal history. The case of Jean Weber continues to fascinate and intrigue people to this day. Her story has been the subject of numerous books, films, and articles, as people try to understand what led her to commit such heinous acts. Some have suggested that she suffered from a personality disorder, while others have argued that she was simply a cold-blooded killer. Regardless of the cause, Weber's crimes remain a chilling reminder of the darkness that can lurk within the human psyche. We hope you enjoyed this case overview, presented by Emmy Award-winning Crime Sonics. Be sure to give us a like, leave a comment and subscribe for more content just like this.